All right, today we're going to continue our study of looking at adding and subtracting rational numbers. So this will be section 2.1 and 2.2. And so first off, whenever you're looking to evaluate an expression, the first thing you want to do is the substitution step. All right, and the substitution step means let's take the value for n and substitute it in where you see n. Okay, now a lot of people read this sentence and say negative n plus 8.9, but it really is not negative n, it's really the opposite of n. So in this case, since n already is negative, the opposite of n would be like this, the opposite of negative 2.3 plus 8.9, and that's what I mean by the substitution step. And now when you take the opposite of a negative number, it's really like a positive, and so now you're looking at 2.3 plus 8.9, and when you add decimals, it's important to line up the decimals, like you see here. All right, and then just add down. 9 plus 3 is 12. 11.2 is your answer. Okay, continuing on, we're now taking a look at subtracting rational numbers, and I wanted to remind you that um, to subtract a number, you want to add its opposite. Okay, and so looking at this, you leave the first one alone and then change to add the opposite. So now we're looking at 3.7 plus 4.3, and again, we're going to line up the decimals, line them up straight in a row, and add down. And so you get your answer 8.0. Okay, taking a look at example D. Again, we want to add the opposite by leaving the first add end alone, negative 8.9 plus positive 5.6. Now I want to call to mind that model we used yesterday with the reds and the blacks. So in this case, since we have some reds and some blacks, we actually want to subtract and keep the sign of the bigger one. Before we do that, since we're adding and subtracting fractions, we need a common denominator. So we're looking to see what's the smallest thing that both 9 and 6 go into. And that answer is 18. So I'm going to make this something 18. And I do this by saying 9 times 2 is 18. So therefore, 8 times 2 is 16. And it was negative, so it stays negative. Okay, plus, this one is also going to be 18. And again, I say to myself, 6 times what gives me 18? So then therefore, I'm going to multiply 5 by the same thing, and I get... 15 eighteenths. All right, now looking at this problem is a little bit easier now that we have common denominators, and I realize that I need to subtract the difference, which gets me something eighteenths. Negative 16 plus 15 is negative 1, and I'm going to keep the sign of the negative because I started with more of those. Okay, let's go on. All right, let's evaluate again. This says the opposite of A minus B for a equals negative 3 and b equals negative 5. So first of all, we have to do our substitution step. This says the opposite of a. Since a already is negative 3, we can write the opposite of negative 3 to be 3. And then minus b, b is negative 5, so we end up with 3 minus negative 5. And anytime I see a subtraction problem, I'm going to add the opposite. So um, leave the first one alone, add the opposite, and we get that our answer is 8. Okay, let's do a little bit of extra practice. And looking up at problem number 14, again, um, I see that I have some negatives and some positives. And I'm remembering that model from the other day where I had red chips and black chips. So I know I need to take away here or subtract. And with subtracting or adding decimals, you always line up the decimals and the bigger one goes on top. So in this case, it's 8.05. Take away 7.4 and I'm lining up the decimals. I like to put a zero placeholder in also. Okay, so then I'm going to subtract. 5 minus 0 is 5. And then I can't take 4 away from 0, so I'm going to borrow. I make that one a 10. I make that a 7. And so 10 minus 4 is 6. 7 minus 7 is 0. And I end up with my answer, 0 0.65. Now, a lot of problems with this is that people will tend to forget the sign of the answer. So I want you to come back here and realize that you started with more negatives, so your answer is actually going to be negative 0.65. Sometimes I put the sign of the answer in first so I don't forget it. All right, now let's take a look at number 15. Looking at this problem, knowing that you have some positives and some negatives, and you're going to be taking away, would you expect your answer to be positive or negative? Okay, hopefully you see that you have more negatives, so I know my answer is going to be negative, so I'm going to put that sign in right now. 
All right. Next, I'm going to line up my decimals. And so to do that, I have to realize that the decimal in negative 17 is right at the end. And I'm always going to put the bigger one on top. So that's 17. Take away 9.51. And I'm going to put in some zero placeholders here. And I'm going to line up my decimals right in a row. OK, so now let's go to the subtracting. I can't take 1 from 0, so I'm going to borrow. I make that a 10. And I change this 70 into 69, and that's how I borrow. So 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 minus 5 is 4. Six min and 16 minus 9 is 7. OK, now, a lot of times after you go through all this work of lining up and borrowing, you forget about the sign, which is why I had it written there to begin with, so I don't forget about it. And I'm going to put that answer right in my answer space. OK, let's take a look at this next problem. I see some subtractions, so right away I'm going to say to myself, I need to add the opposite. So I leave the first one alone, and I add the opposite in here, and I can also add the opposite in here. OK, so next, my method for doing this is I like to add up like signs first. So I say to myself, well, 3 plus 4 is 7. And now all I have is 7 plus negative 1 half. And I realize then that I need to take away, because I have some positives and some negatives, and 7 take away a half is 6 and a half. OK, let's try two more. Number 20 is adding fractions. Okay, I look at them and I see red and red, negative and negative, so I know I'm going to add them up together. And I realize that since it's adding and subtracting, I do need um, common denominators here. Oops. So let's work on that. So the way I would do this problem is I would say negative 4 and 3 eighths. Well, first of all, I would probably put the sign of my answer. And I know a negative plus more negatives is a negative. So then it's 4 and 3 eighths. And then I don't really have to worry about signs here. Added together with 1 and how many eighths? So let's look here. 4 times 2 is 8. So 3 times 2 is 6 eighths. And I know I'm adding them together. So I get 3 plus 6 is 9 eighths. And 4 plus 1 is 5. Now, um, I can't leave this this way because I can't have an improper fraction together with a mixed number. So I know that that 9 eighths, I think it in my head, I know that 9 eighths is equal to 1 and 1 eighth. So I'm going to put that 1 and 1 eighth together with my 5, and that gives me my answer of 6 and 1 eighth. Okay, and, whoops, see, I almost forgot. If I put my answer back where it belongs, up here, I know my answer is really negative 6 and 1 eighths, and so that sign in the answer spot really saved me this time. Okay, next one. Let's just change and get common denominators. So my common denominators are going to be 14. So this one's easy. It's negative 2 and 3 fourteenths plus how many fourteenths? Can you do that? The answer is times 2 times 2. So therefore, it's 18 fourteenths. Okay, plus negative 2 and 3 fourteenths. This one's a little tricky to do here. Um, I would probably either do this um, both as improper fractions or both as mixed numbers. Um, so it's a little bit weird doing it this way. So why don't we change this one into an improper fraction? So we're going to go 18 fourteenths plus negative. And remember, you go 2 times 14 is 28 plus the 3 is negative 31 fourteenths. OK, now we're looking at this, and I'm remembering that I have some negatives and some positives. And so I know I'm going to have to take away, and I know I'm going to have negatives left over. So it's going to be negative 14 and negative 13 fourteenths. OK, let's go on. All right, and here are um, seven problems for you to try. So you can pause this, take a second to copy them down, and do your best. Thanks.